Steve Fox. In season one, Steve was a character that sat just outside the top tier. He had some moderately challenging matchups like Xiao Yu or Jack, which have been nerfed now. And the top tiers he went even with, like Dragunov and Devil Jin, have also been made weaker. Steve, on the other hand, has received pretty much nothing but buffs. The most significant one is that he's gone from having one of the worst rage drives in the game to one of the very best, with down forward 2 plus 3. This is an enhanced version of his Sonic Fang, meaning it's a fast long range mid with excellent tracking that now also leads to obscene combos on hit and is plus on block. What else needs to be said? Even though this has been slightly toned down since the first version of Season 2, it's still an incredibly powerful tool that can easily break 100 damage if there's a wall nearby. The new Rage Drive directly addresses Steve's major weakness in Punishment, and also combos from a variety of other moves, such as Extended Duck 1, his new and improved Down Forward 1 2 2, and Forward 2 1 2, which now both result in a knockdown, and a close range Flicker Back 2. These do require a very tricky Micro Dash, though, so you might just want to stick to Forward Forward 2. Overall, thanks to the new Rage Drive, Steve's comeback potential has gone through the roof. He is a massive threat when in Rage now, quite possibly the biggest in the game. Some other nice buffs are that his Flicker Jabs, Peekaboo Down Forward 1, and Peekaboo Up Forward 2 now all deal more damage. The Flicker Jabs in particular are key moves, used in a lot of Steve's combos, so the damage buffs definitely add up. Flicker Jabs also have less pushback on hit, which makes squeezing one more into his bread and butter completely consistent now. Against male characters and Master Raven, the reduced pushback means you can even get a full combo from a point blank count hit flicker one down one to a down two one two pickup. This can be a little inconsistent unless you're slightly off axis to the right, and the screw from duck forward two is pretty hard to time. But even if you don't land the screw, you're still doing more damage than a forward forward two or down back two. Flicker two has gone from being neutral on block to minus five, which is a bit of a nerf. But the flicker one two strings are now safe at minus seven, as well as forcing crouch. They used to be massively punishable at minus 16. This gives Steve players a viable choice between high mid strings when in flicker. One forward one for less disadvantage on block, allowing you to sidestep afterwards. Or one two, which basically forces you to take the mix up against characters with strong fully crouch options, but yields a much bigger reward on counter hit. Back 1-2 now screws on the second hit, and on the ground it leads to a ballerina twirl, giving Steve some big plus frames to work with. This makes his quick lows in peekaboo down 1 or down 2 unparryable due to frame advantage. Back 1-2 is now also the preferred wall splat after shoving an opponent into the wall, since it deals more damage and is easier to execute than a quarter circle forward 1. And yes, on top of all this, it's still his 13 frame Punisher, which means it's riskier to use hop kicks against Steve now. The only real thing that could be seen as a negative to Season 2 Steve is his rubbish wall bounce, Peekaboo Back 2. While this can evade some highs, it tends to get snuffed out by ongoing strings. Being locked behind a stance, very slow, and quite punishable on block at minus 14, it's just not very useful. Yeah. 
Hopefully for season three, it'll be buffed to an unblockable one hit kill nuclear explosion. Since Steve has received some big buffs, and nearly all of his worst matchups are weaker, we imagine the British boxer is now easily back in the top tier club, and a strong argument could be made for Steve being the best character in the game now.